Hello guys, Brad here again with another review. Today I want to look at Sergio Tashini Uomo. This is a 5ml spray sample that I bought off of eBay. Looks like this right here. This fragrance came out in 1996 and classified as a woody. There's also a fragrance called Sergio Tashini Ohm that came out in 1987, which I believe is similar, uh, but perhaps a bit stronger from what I've heard on uh, Fragrantica anyway. The notes, we have lime, sandalwood, cedar, bergamot, and styrax. And uh, basically what I get from this fragrance is a nice orangey lime uh, sandalwood with that uh, mature, semi-sweet, resinous styrax base. So it's a pretty nice fragrance in my opinion and it has a unique feel to it. It doesn't really re remind me of anything else that I've tried. Maybe a little bit of Vera Wang, something in that vein a little bit. Because this one also, for some reason, kind of had like a, like a nutmeg, a spiciness to it that I was picking up on, like Vera Wang did. Um, so, yeah, I would recommend checking this one out if you're into like a Styrax basis, if you like the, the mature, dated feel fragrances. I want to try something different for fall or winter. You know, a lot of these newer releases all seem to smell like this one. Definitely has a different kind of a feel to it. And, uh, you know, Sergio Tashini is a house that I've been interested in quite some time because uh, I do remember back in the day when uh, the tennis players used to wear a lot of the Sergio Tashini clothing, like in the 80s and 90s. And uh, so that house kind of stood out for me when I noticed that they had fragrances, too. So uh, this one, yeah, it was OK. Uh, probably won't buy it, but I would definitely say if you can get your hands on something like this, you know, go on eBay or somewhere and get a little 5 ml. Be a nice little change up of fragrance for the fall or the winter, something that you could just you know wear on occasion in the cooler months when you're in the mood for something a little bit more mature, different. Uh, so let's get into some scores. The smell, I'll give it six and a half out of ten. You know, it didn't blow me away, but you know, I did appreciate the uniqueness and maturity of the smell. Uh, projection longevity, give about two to three hours. Um, it never did seem to be real strong when you wear it. It's pretty much something at the smell close to really get a good uh, whiff of it. Uh, uniqueness, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 because uh, it doesn't re really remind me of anything else that I've tried. You know, this is one of those nice designers that kind of has like a vibe to it that you would uh, rarely find in the designer market, especially, you know, like a clothing designer type house. Uh, versatility, 6 out of 10. Good for fall, winter, but uh, really not really something that I would wear in the hot weather. Uh, price point, 100 ml, uh, 46.99 was one of the prices I found online. So about 7 out of 10 there. You'll probably have to buy this one online in the States because I don't think Sergio Tashini fragrances are readily available here. But overall, I'll give a 6.5 out of 10. A nice uh, experience for me. The Styrax base, mature, uh, dated feel. It's kind of nice to... Something I can appreciate being an older member of the fragrance community. But, you know, it didn't really blow me away like some of the more modern uh, cool weather designers do or the niche ones. So it was okay. Six and a half out of ten. That's my final review. Thanks for watching. and I'll talk to you guys later.